Well, it might not be peaceful, but let's be honest, a screaming bite alarm is one of the most evocative and exciting sounds in fishing. But also to be fair, carp fishing can be quite technical and I know that a lot of people get really confused about alarms and bite indicators and how to configure them in different situations. So let's take a look at that now. For carp fishers, bite indication can be a bit tricky on the quiet. The question I'm most often asked is, if I've got a bite alarm, why do I need a bite indicator? The answer is that not every bite is a spool melter with the alarm screaming in the background. The further out you fish, the more sensitive the indicator and alarm setup needs to be because at distance, allowing for the stretch in your line, carp can often move a surprisingly long way without registering a bite. The two basic things you need to fish for carp efficiently with a multi-rod setup are bite alarms and bite indicators. The alarm provides an audible warning of a bite while the indicator provides a visual backup and gives you valuable information about whether the fish is moving away from or toward you. The indicator is clipped onto the line and hangs below the rod butt. If the carp takes your bait and runs away from you, the bite indicator is largely ornamental, but it looks great as it climbs to the butt ring. For this reason, position the indicator with a relatively slack line, but for distance fishing, the opposite is true. The line needs to be tightened to the rig and the indicator sits closer to the rod so that it can fall back if the fish runs towards you. There's a great deal more to learn about bite indication, including how you pin your line down to disguise it from the fish when you're fishing at range, but we'll leave it at that for now. There can be no doubt that the sound of a bite alarm screaming after hours of inactivity heightens the thrill of catching carp. You'll catch more of these fantastic fish if you think about bite indication, so until next time, tight lines or otherwise.